Salesforce architect roles are some of the most sought after roles in the entire ecosystem. When you have a few years under your belt as a Salesforce admin or developer, these roles are some of the most in demand and by far the highest paid. Two of the most common architect roles are the Salesforce solution and Salesforce technical architect professions. So let's take a look at what these roles involve and how they are different. First up, let's take a look at the solution architecture role, which is one of the career goals for many Salesforce admins. It's a role that is responsible for understanding the business requirements of an organization and designing a solution that is scalable and involves using Salesforce recommended best practices. Whilst this also sounds like the role of a Salesforce admin or even a consultant, solution architects will often be working alongside these roles, helping to shape the solution with their previous project's knowledge. Most importantly, they'll be ultimately responsible for designing this solution and ensuring that the build meets the agreed specifications. They'll be brought in to lead areas of the project including data modeling, migration, Salesforce config, security models, declarative automation, user experience, and the successful deployment of the project using sandboxes and the DevOps process. And what about technical architects, I hear you ask? On the flip side, Salesforce Technical Architects may be one of the dream roles for many Salesforce developers. They're the ultimate technical authority on projects and ensure that the solution is being built to the correct technical specifications. Technical architects need to understand exactly what is going on within Salesforce. For example, ensuring that any Apex or Lightning web component code is being built correctly and using best practices, and as well, ensuring scalability. They are also heavily involved with any data that is leaving or coming into Salesforce. Large enterprise projects often require integration, which is quite frequently one of the most challenging parts of a project. They will typically be leading areas of the project, including custom Apex or Lightning Web component code, integrations with other systems, designing APIs, managing large data volumes, environment management, and any DevOps processes that come along with it. So there you have it, the main responsibilities of a solution architect versus a technical architect. Although they can seem pretty similar, they do focus on distinct areas of a project. The solution architect is concerned with ensuring they have designed and built a scalable solution that meets the customer's business requirements. And a technical architect is concerned with the deeper technical aspects of the project. And this will often involve custom code and integrations with other systems. Solution and technical architects will commonly work very closely with one another on projects. So lines may become blurred when they are working so closely together. It's often the case that they will input into areas outside of their own remit. As a solution architect will commonly have experience working with integrations, and a technical architect will have input to business requirements as well. After all, these two roles are at the top of their game. I hope this video has given you a quick overview of the core differences between two of the most high profile roles in the Salesforce ecosystem. Although I mentioned that admins often wish to become solution architects and developers to become technical architects, these aren't rules and it's completely possible for a Salesforce admin who doesn't code to become a technical architect or vice versa if a developer wants to move more over to the business side. Make sure to check out the abundance of posts on salesforcebend.com for more details about the architect role.